Hey guys, welcome back to another behind the scene video. This week we are doing a photo shoot here at this beautiful lake in Fremont, California. We're going to capture these beautiful summer sunsets along with a model. Helping me out today is my friend Charlene. So with that said, let's get started. So for today's setup, I'm using two Godox AD200 flashes for my lighting. I'm also using uh, my Sony a7 III along with my Sigma 85 and Sigma 35. For my lighting setup, I have both of the flashes set at one half power for pretty much the entire shoot. Charlene is not a model and she needed help on posing. So we started out with some simple poses like this to get her to warm up. Uh, just to get her to feel comfortable, so I just had a stand with one leg straight and the other leg bent And I just had her place her arm on top of her head uh, So that she looks like an hourglass Here's a variation of the same pose a tip here is when posing try to have a few different variations of the same pose So you can move the hand around to another position or you can tell the model to look at a different direction Now one of my most favorite warm up poses is the walking shot. Now this gets the model to feel comfortable because they feel like they're accomplishing something. When shooting an inexperienced model, if you tell them to do something too difficult right off the bat um, and they can't get it right, it's going to affect their mindset for the entire photo shoot. So keep that in mind. Now another thing to keep in mind is that when posing a female figure, most of the time one of the legs has to be bent. Why? Because this is going to help to bring out the curve on her body. I noticed that the blue is complementing her skin tone really well. So I had to sit on a chair and I shot down from a high angle so that the water covered her completely. Now we thought it would be cool to make it look like she's floating on top of the water. Uh, so we had Charlene stand on a chair, and I photoshopped it out in post. Now I like the separation between the docking station and the water here, so I placed Charlene in the middle of it. Compositionally wise, um, I could have posted her in a way that bring out more symmetry, such as having her back facing us with her arms to the side, but oh well, I still had the shot. Now, one of my favorite ways to bring the viewer's attention to the subject's face is to create a triangle with leading lines like the arms to lead the eyes to where you want them to go. Now in this case, since we're taking a portrait, we want the viewer's eye to look straight at the face. So that was how I positioned her arms. For this shot, Charlene had to use every single muscle fiber in her core, and I'm not kidding guys, to hold us out like this. Um, again, we place her on a chair with a towel for cushion and I photoshop the chair out in post. I always like to try a few different perspectives when I shoot. So for this shot, I got down on the ground and shot upward with my 35. A tip when shooting at low angle shot like this is to have the model lean her body towards the camera so that her body doesn't appear elongated. Now here's a variation of the same pose. For this photo, I told Charlene to lean against the handlebar and I posed her in an S-shaped pose. Now I don't like this photo because her elbow is a little awkward and it made her look too rigid, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyways because I believe that learning from one mistakes is the best way to learn. For the next post, I had Shaleen sit by the edge of the docking station and I borrowed my friend's 70-200 to get this. Now I placed the light to her left. Now I told her to bring the chin up so that you don't get those like weird raccoons looking eye and the light can fall evenly on her face. For this shot, we simply had Shaleen in the water looking up at the camera. Now I had my light pointing down at her which gave me this beautiful and even lighting. 
on her while also casting a shadow underneath her chin that really brings out uh, her jawline features. Uh, here's a variation of the same pose. Now this is one of my favorite shots from the shoot. I captured Charlene coming out of the water and I told her to bring her chin up because the light was coming from the top. Here's a variation. Notice how I had her face tilted towards the light because it was coming from the side a little bit and that gave me this really dramatic shadow on the other side of her face. Now here's another shot in black and white. Uh, next, we had Charlene float on her back. Um, I've turned off the flashes because I wanted to get a sort of a moody feel for these shots. So I cranked up the ISO to compensate for not having flash to capture this. Uh, my videographer Kevin came up with the idea to flare her hair out like that and thanks to him I was able to capture this. I used my 85 to capture this. Now I made a huge mistake here because her arms are cropped off and it, it looks a little weird like that. I sort of told her to place her hands on her belly instead. So learn from my mistakes guys. Here I had Charlene held onto a pole that was under the water and I took a couple variations of the same pose. Now let's end the session with my favorite photo from the shoot. I placed the camera angle in such a way that I could get the red tint that was coming from the sunset and the blue from the water. And I just love how the red tint from the sunset is blending in with the blue from the water. Now I also love the expression on her face because of how relaxed and at peace she looks. And that expression ties in really well with the color and the mood of the image. Alright guys, that was it for this week's video. Thank you to my friend Charlene who did an amazing job. Um, it was so much fun working with her. Thank you to my videographer Kevin for doing all the video stuff. And my friend V who helped me out with uh, holding the light stand. Let me know in the comment section below which photo was your favorite from the shoot. If you guys are interested in learning how I color grade my photos, leave a comment as well. And with that said, it's time to say peace.